but since I've done it, so I'm going to go ahead and have a look at this cluster that I created. Here I have the status of my nodes, but I really want to take you to uh, the connect uh, tab where I have lots of information about uh, my database. I have the name of the data center. I have, once again, I have my nodes that I can copy. I have username and password. And I also have uh, different ways to connect to my database. And since we're using Node.js and JavaScript today, uh, I will be looking at this one here. So this is not very different from the code that we use in our application. It's uh, actually to connect to the database. This is the way you do it. <laughs> so uh, we use the Cassandra driver and we'll talk about drivers uh, later. But basically drivers allow us to connect to the database uh, by creating uh, an, a session or a client. Uh, and for that, I need the uh, contact points, local data center, so uh, AWS US East one. And I also need the username and password. And I also optionally need the key space. And what is a key space is the space where I define my replication factor, my replication strategy, but also my tables. Um, another way to connect to uh, uh, to Scylla Cloud, to 